Here we're using four plastic pegs, but really you can use anything just to keep the screen up off the paper, off the design. As you apply the resist, you don't want the design touching the bottom of the screen because it'll tend to blur the edges and you won't get those nice crisp edges that you're after. You can use the applicator that's on the bottle or indeed you can use the brush that's provided to smooth out to do larger areas of the drawing fluid. You can use a hairdryer to speed up the drying of the drawing fluid, just be careful not to burn anything obviously, and once it's dry it's time to put the block out on. So just pour a reasonable amount of block out onto the top of the screen and in one firm movement just draw the block out down over the whole screen. Definitely trying to cover as much of the image as possible. You can tidy up the edges where you may have missed with the brush. Once you're sure you've blocked out all the areas of the screen that you don't want to print, it's time to clean the screen off and to leave it to dry thoroughly. We would advise leaving for at least 72 hours for the screen to dry thoroughly. And you can test to see if the block out is completely dry. And as you can see here, it's just a little bit of colors coming off. You need to leave it to dry for longer until no color comes off at all. Now you're sure that the block out is dry, it's time to remove the drawing fluid. A soft circular motion with your fingers will remove all of the drawing fluid. Now it's time to print. Mixing the printing gel with the student's colours will help to slow the drying time in the screen of the colours and also give nice transparent prints. And presto, we have our print. It's as easy as that. And of course, you can try using a few colors with the same print. Anything's possible. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest videos.